Welcome back Mac Marvels. In this lesson we're talking about reflections and being able to identify if an image is a reflection of its original. But I want to take a step back because you guys absolutely know I adore Marvel. I'm a huge Marvel fan and when I think of reflections I think of mirrors clearly and I think of things like in Doctor Strange the mirror dimension and these are always visually stunning scenes because we see lots of patterns happening as images are bent um, and reflected over and we have images with symmetry. So we're going to talk a little bit about that in today's lesson. So just like with the gloves, what we're going to do is we're going to remember that anytime we have a reflection or we see the word reflection, our minds, we're going to think of two images that are congruent, symmetrical, and you're going to think of the word flip. Wherever that line of symmetry is, where does that flip happen in the image? That's what we're going to think about because everything else will correspond. So let's look at these two and we want to figure out in which one is the blue image a reflection of the red. So our red is the original. So I'm going to put OG for the original. And we want to think about the blue image. Is that a reflection? And think about it again with the gloves. When I have a reflection, when they're symmetrical, it's almost like they fold over each other. They are a flip of one another. So something to think about in A is look at how far away the two points are from each other. They're the same distance from our line of symmetry. Here's our line of symmetry. I'm going to just abbreviate it for a second. Uh, so those are the same distance and the same thing with our other points. Look at how far away they are. They're also symmetrical. They're the same distance away from that line of symmetry. So again, we're thinking about which sides correspond to each other and the image should look flipped. So like I can take this and I can overlap it. I would, if I were to fold it here. So if that were to happen, if I were to fold this image right here, this image would fold right on top. It would overlap right on top of this one. That's what you're thinking about. So let's look at uh, example B. And again, here's our line of symmetry. Here's our fold. So you can imagine in your mind, if you were to fold this over, would this overlap onto that one? Would it fold over? Um, and the answer would be no, no, it would not. Um, and I can just imagine like this piece here is only this far away. From my line so what corresponds which would be this part look at how far away it is from the line those are two different distances so they are not a flipped image of each other so that's what we're gonna look for today you're gonna look for you're gonna look at two images they should be congruent and yes this is congruent yes there is a line of symmetry but it is not a flip I could not fold this one over and put this one directly over that way. It would not overlap the same way. And you can try these out. Uh, this is actually, instead of a reflection, this is just a translation. I mean, it's just me sliding the image over. They're exactly the same, but slid over. Here, this could be flipped over on the line. So hit pause for a little bit so you can jot down some of these ideas and you might want to say them or write them down in different ways onto your notes. And let's look at one more example together. Let's look at this example. And here we have a quadrilateral named PQRS. I've already drawn out the figure so you can see it. And our goal is to draw the figure, which I've already done, and its reflection over the Y axis. So take a moment so you can just copy down the figure itself and its points. And now we're gonna draw the coordinates of P prime, Q prime, R prime, and D prime. Prime. So what I'm going to do is first, why don't we start by drawing the line of symmetry and it's going to be across the Y axis. So I'm going to draw a straight line, the Y axis. And remember this means this would almost be where we imagine folding the paper. This is where the reflection line. So we're thinking about it on the other side. 
And so what we're what I'm going to do is I'm going to think of each individual point and its distance from my line of symmetry. That's what I'm going to do. So let's think of the first point P. It is two from my line, one, two. So its opposite would also be two. Like I want to make it symmetrical. If I were to fold it over, it would be two away. So here is P prime and that location is at two, five. And I want us to stop and think about this for a second. So what do you notice about the point so far? When I flip it over to Y axis, what has changed? What do you see? What do you notice? Okay. Hold that in your mind. Let's do the next one. Let's look at point Q, which is at negative one, negative one. And now again, it is one away from my line. Uh, so it is also going to be one away on the opposite side. So here is Q prime. And now that is one negative one. Again, think here, what do you see? What do you notice is different between Q and Q prime? What's changed in the coordinates? And you're probably noticing it's not my Y that's changing. It's only my X. My X is changing from a negative to a positive, or in other words, it's changing from quadrant two to quadrant one. That makes sense because I am going over this line. So everything that is over here is going to flip over into quadrant one. So except now let's look at this point over here. Still is moved to where my X's are positive. So that makes a lot of sense. All right. So we'll do the same thing with R. If you're not seeing this, um, I'll do the same distance. One, two, three, four. Now do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four. And so that's my new point here. Here's our prime and that is at four, two. So my pattern is continuing. My Y's are staying the same. So I'm going to try that. Let's try thinking about this with, with S prime. So my Y is going to stay the same and my X is going to go from negative four to positive four. So it should be at four, four. Let's see if that is true. So I am one, two, three, four away here. One, two, three, four away here. And yes, this is four, four. So here is S prime. Uh, let's connect these points here so we can see it. There we go. Uh, so now we have our new figure and what do you see? What do you notice? Well, I can see a few things. We've drawn them out. We can see that they are congruent. It does look flipped over. I can fold it right over. And so my strategy of figuring out the distance of each vertice from the line of symmetry is very helpful. This will help me locate the points and plot it, plot my new figure over the line of reflection. So hit pause so you can also jot this one down into your notes. And great job, Math Marvels. Again, we're always looking for patterns because we want to get there faster. Or if we're always drawing, it may take more time. So you could also look to see what patterns might happen. So I have a question for you. What do you think would happen if we, instead of going over the x-axis, what if we had gone over this? What do you think would have happened to our points? So mull over that. We're going to think more about that. And while you're doing this practice, think about those questions and see if you notice things that can happen. Are there ways you can predict where those other points will be based on what you're seeing as you're plotting? Well, that's it for today, Math Marvels. We will see you in the next lesson. Take care.